Welcome back to 31 horror movies that I've never seen in 31 days. Today's movie that I watched, Paranormal Activity 3. Now, this one uh, is just like the, uh, the, the, second, the second film where it goes back in time even further. Uh, the first film was kind of like a prequel. This one is like a second prequel, I guess. I don't know what you would call a third film that goes back in time. Um, this one actually follows Katie and her sister whenever they are, are little girls, when they're real young. And um, the stepdad that they're with, they're with their mom and their stepdad. And the stepdad is uh, actually going around. He's a, he's a wedding videographer. And he goes around and he, he, uh, he videotapes everything that goes on through the house. And he sets up cameras throughout uh, in the girls' bedroom and in their bedroom uh, and in the kitchen to try to capture whatever it is that he believes is going on in the house. Uh, it, it does the exact same thing that Paranormal Activity 1 did and Part 2 did as well, uh, where they, it, it, they build suspense based on, you know, setting the camera down for, you know, you know, minutes at a time and you don't see anything until the last few seconds of the film. Uh, they did something really, really cool uh, in this film uh, that built tension up really, really good. And they actually took a camera and they, they mounted it on a spinning floor fan. So the camera would just like pivot around from side to side and you would, they would keep on that for a, for a moment or two. And that built great tension throughout that, that, those moments of the film. Um, other than that, I, I mean, without spoiling anything, I can't really dis like describe anything that happens. Um, this one does build tension more so than what part one or part two did, but I don't think that it was necessarily as good. Everybody kept saying that the last 15 minutes of the film was extremely scary and intense. I didn't think so. I was very let down by the ending of it. I like the movie itself. Uh, I like the idea behind it, and I like the way that they do it. But the ending of the film let me down a lot, and I don't think it actually fit the whole style of paranormal activity, in my opinion. Um, if if you do like the ghost type movies, ghost hunting and stuff like that, uh, or the other paranormal activity films, you will enjoy these. Uh, you will enjoy this third one. I, I definitely enjoyed it. But like I said, I was very let down with the ending of it. Uh, there's only one time in the entire movie that I was actually that actually scared me, and it's not necessarily like a unnerving scare. It was a jump scare. I'm not going to give away what it was, even though that it wasn't a true scare. It's still something that made me jump and you know scared me, I guess. So, I mean, I, I would recommend the films. They uh, all three films are really good. 